If you're having suicidal thoughts or feelings or feel like you have no hope, please call 988. There you can talk to someone who not only cares about your story, but cares about you. Please reach out today. Thomas P. Murphy once said, Minutes are worth more than money. Spend them wisely. At Minutes Wisely, we take that to heart. Our mission is to decrease veteran suicide by providing life-changing experiences for veterans, first responders, and Gold Star families. We believe that we can make a lasting impact by rekindling a sense of purpose and fostering community through sponsored tickets to sporting events. These experiences are not just about the game. They're about the moments that can change lives. A simple sporting event can boost joy and instill a sense of renewed hope and purpose for those who have served. Join us in making a difference. Become a moment maker and empower a veteran with rediscovered hope. Visit minuteswisely.com for more information and to get involved. Together, we can make every moment count. Wow, that was an amazing uh that was a, that was amazing uh intro. Awesome intro. <laughs> Loved it. It's so soothing. Well you'll catch it. You'll catch it I, when it goes live. I love that woman's yeah. voice, man. <laughs> yeah. She is pretty awesome, man. So uh welcome back to another episode of TSP. Uh Andrew and I are sitting here with Brian, a fellow squid. Brian, how you doing there, pal? I'm doing all right. How about you, Hi, Richard? Bud. I'm awesome. Um, I really don't have any announcements. Uh, all, all my announcements are the same. You know, I got a bunch of uh, upcoming events, and they're all in September. So, uh, oh, Brian, gosh. I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, with uh, whatever funds that we make off this uh, podcast and whatever generate, we uh, we started a nonprofit. It's called Minutes Wisely. Uh, what we do is we send veterans, first responders, and Gold Star family members to sporting events. Um, oh, I just love that. For- just for instance, yeah, our, our goal is to stop uh, veteran suicide. And the way we do that, we send them to a we, we send them to a sporting event, you know, like an NFL game, NHL, not no shitty games, you know, some, some real oh, games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we we'll send them with the uh, mentor so they can have a night out and uh, not wor- have to worry about anything. They just go out and bullshit, watch a game, and uh, hang out. And uh, we we'll cover pretty much everything. Uh, for instance, uh, my wife and I went to Party Fall, which is a chicken place here in Murfreesboro. And, uh, you know, my kids make fun of me because I make friends in the strangest places. Well, <laughs> I befriended this young lady in the parking lot of all places. It turns out that her father was a Marine and committed suicide just two years ago. Man. So uh, I'm sending her uh, and her husband to Detroit. All expenses paid, even got the hotel covered, uh, gas card, everything, meal at the end. We're sending them to Detroit to see the uh, Detroit Lions and the Tennessee Titans uh, this fall. That, that's, that's I love that. Yeah. Titans are going to lose. Dude, that is awesome. Yeah. Titans so I, 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 I love doing that. And it's amazing. Uh, we've been doing hey. it for, this is our second year doing this. <clears throat> That's great. Dude, we can now expand out to California, take them to a Padres game or uh, an Angels uh, game or something now. Bring them out. I will yeah. Hell go with yes. <laughs> I would. So I would love to go to a Padres game because I love their uniforms because I've been it, to I, one. I, San Diego is such a huge uh, Navy town. I love when they wear yeah. their military uniforms out there on the field. It's yeah. awesome. They, they got they the do ones. Yeah, yeah. They do it. Yeah. They do it right out there in San Diego, man. We San went to Diego. one in May watch the yankees win oh hey you know you know who else lives out in in i hate the yankees you know who else lives out in san diego uh yes donnie o'malley andrew so does uh paul and paul freeman no No, not paul Paul. freeman andrew paul oh andrew paul a navy seal guy that's right who i went to high school with who was at uh who was part of seal team three task force bruiser in 2006, Battle of Ramadi. Okay. Uh, so, yes, yeah. actually, he's a mortgage guy. Um, and you should definitely hook in, uh, hook into him, Echelon he's Front, on. and Jocko, and Leaf, and Michael, and all those guys. 
because um, they were just in Nashville um, having a muster. Like, did I you know, go see them? I did not because I was I was busy. <clears throat> I didn't even know Andrew Paul. Uh, he didn't even call me because he was so busy. He tried to get me in to meet Jocko, and I tried to get Fleek to come with me, but he never called me, so didn't get to meet Jocko. But that's okay. Yeah, that's the goal. Is try to time will tell. Build up those relationships. Yeah, for real. Um, Andrew Paul was on our show a year or so ago, and uh, he, he was telling stories about uh, when he was, you know, they'd be out in the ocean and sharks <laughs> bouncing off him and shit. I'm like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, no. <laughs> it's, just, it's black and shit's running into him, you know? It's like, God damn, bro. <laughs> dude, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I have any stories quite like that. <laughs> dude, when we were raiding the Ramadi hospital, his guys were our fucking overwatch. Like they were making sure that us grunts didn't get killed in the hospital. That was kind of cool. You know what's crazy about that dude too? When you talk to him, you'd never know he was like yeah, some badass. Never know. He's, he's the most humble guy. Yeah. And he and runs like my, 26 miles fucking every day, like for fun. Like yeah. who the fuck it's does in that? In my experience, that's the way every SEAL I've ever met, that's the way they are. They're yeah. super humble, laid back. Like yeah. they don't <clears throat> flaunt, you know, they're not egotistical. Anything like that. And then you then you turn into like you know, guys that were in the Carl Vincent or guys that went to Ramadi or Fallujah, like yeah. we can't <laughs> wait to open our fucking mouths and yeah. Yeah. yeah, for real. Yeah. Kicked in doors. <laughs> we gotta tell those stories about hunting down the Russians in the Bering Sea or or taking down, <laughs> you know, karma in two thousand five because He's a Bering Strait fucking bandit, and I'm a Karma guy and a Ramadi guy. And we love telling those stories. Right? Bering Please? Strait bandit. I love it. Yeah. Dude, he's got yeah. the patch. Oh, dude, show him yeah. the patch. Show, get the patch. Seriously? Seriously, go get the patch. <laughs> dude, this he's is like, so seriously. Cool. I mean, that would be... I just kind of did a normal, you know, bunch of med cruises. Hey, 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 hey. Did some hey, seven we'll get, hey, hey, Brian, we'll get to you in a second. <laughs> yeah, oh, my boy. We'll get to you in a second. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> I love that. So, yeah, uh, the reason why they made it such a big deal is because uh, we're at the end of Westpac, uh, 86, and uh, we're heading back to – I was stationed in Alameda, California. And uh, on our way back, uh, we, we're, you know, steaming through the Indian Ocean – heading back to California. This is like a seven month cruise. All of a sudden, all this uh, cold weather gear starts landing on the ship, like pallets and pallets of it. And I'm like, what the hell are they delivering all this cold weather shit? Like, uh, you know, like uh, outdoor wear and Gore-Tex. Uh, medicine Gore-Tex. and like Sweaters. cough syrup and all kinds of shit, man. I'm like what, <laughs> what is going on? Why are we, why are we taking all these deliveries, man? We're going back to California. Yeah, well, they didn't t- they didn't break the news yet, so we weren't really going back to California. We went up to uh, past the Aleutian Islands in the Bering Sea in January. Oh my goodness! So back that's if, I don't know if you ever seen the uh, the show uh, the where they're fishing for crabs. Of course, deadliest oh, catch. Uh, uh, yeah, deadliest, deadliest catch. catch. Deadliest that's catch. how cool it is. We're out there launching and recovering aircraft and that bullshit, man. It was it was the worst week of my life. Man. <laughs> <laughs> or but, hey, but, you, but I got a kick-ass patch now, so or yeah. you watch the movie Hunter Killer with Gary Oldman and Gerard Butler, which is a kick-ass movie, by the way. Uh, I had never been interested, but I was like, holy shit. And they rescued Russian people, like like trapped in the the Ford area of the sub, like knocking, you know, okay. doing SOS on the top. So cool, man. God, I wish yeah. I was a submariner. Damn. Hell no. No. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> it is a special person to be a submariner. I'm telling you what. Like yeah. it's no way you're putting me in that thing. <laughs> no. um, I ain't hop I ain't hot bunking with nobody, man. <laughs> no. Hey, are the hey, I bet the beds are smaller on a sub than actually on like a wasp class ship, right? Or about the the, mm. the same. I would assume if I were small. a Betty man, yeah, I would say yes. I honestly do not know. My uh, my rack on the Carl Vinson was so short, my feet used to hang off the edge. So, mine too on the like. Kearsarge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like this. Yeah, <laughs> I had, I had to sleep with my with my knees up sometimes, yeah. man. <laughs> 
I can't say I had that issue. Where? Oh, well, okay. Now that see, that's a good segue into. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Brian, this is your show. We, um, hey, Fleek, do you have any other announcements? Uh, no, no. Let's just get into Brian here. Yeah, uh, let's get into well, Brian. Where, like, let's start with the, like where you grew up. Where did you grow up? Go to high school, and we'll go from there. Oh man, um, I'm kind of a military brat, and I say kind of. My dad was Army. I was actually born in Vincenza, Italy. Oh, um, yeah. My dad was Army. He was a, a paratrooper uh, for eleven years. Yep. Um, and then I came back to the U S well, no, I guess not come back. I came back to the U S. Um, when I was three, we lived in, uh, the beautiful town of Yuma, Arizona. It is a, it's a nice town. Let's just not say that ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but my parents, uh, ended up splitting up when I was five. Um, and then I kind of moved everywhere. I've lived in Tennessee. I've lived in Kentucky. I've lived in Mississippi, Michigan, up in Traverse city. Um, that place is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Traverse City was it was really nice. Summers there are beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then when I was fourteen, I moved um, back with uh, my mom in Yuma, and then I graduated high school and from Yuma High School there. Kind of been everywhere, but my dad got out when I was five. So why we moved so much? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> That's why I say I'm kind of a military brat, but that ended when I was five and we still moved about a dozen times in my childhood. So was your dad pissed when you joined the Navy? No, he was, he's the one that told me to go Navy. When I decided I want to join the military, <laughs> he said, go Navy or Air Force. Um, my mom was Air Force for seven years and uh, it just sounded, I mean, no offense to all the Air Force. It just sounded boring to me. Yeah. Um, and so I just uh, decided, all right, well, I'll go, you know, the next branch, I guess, that's more family oriented, um, quote unquote. One of the best, one of the best branches. <clears throat> I mean, now, obviously, 20 years later, I have to say yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, my, my parents were happy I went Navy and my mom wanted me to go Air Force, but it just sounded a little, a little too boring for me. Now, of course, everybody looks back and is like, "Why didn't I go Air Force? You know, stay at five star hotels for and drink for margaritas your deployments. <laughs> for your deployments." <laughs> because you're not a homosexual. Oh, dude, seriously, man, I was gonna no. go there too. You actually said it. In the P- <laughs> <laughs> you said it in the PC way because I was gonna fucking shout out something totally like <laughs> horrible. <laughs> But I'm glad no. you said that. Thank you. I appreciate sure. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I decided to join uh, in 2003, December of 2003, the dumbest time to go to Chicago. Um, you know, going from Yuma, Arizona to Chicago between December, January, and February Ooh. was miserable. And then <clears throat> they found out my voice is pretty loud and I can carry a little bit of rhythm. So then they made me the A-Rock. So I'm singing in the weather, miserable, getting sick every week. But um, but boot camp was fun, you know, whatever. Honestly, I enjoyed it. And then, yeah, I started my adventures on the USS Iwo Jima in 2004. You were on the Iwo? Nice. I was on the Iwo, yeah. So started you, there. I got I, We have to ask, <clears throat> uh, are you a shellback? I am a shellback, yes. Yes. All three, yeah. of, us are. All three of us are shellbacks. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I like it. Thank you for the hazing, by the way. I dude, I gotta yeah. show you I gotta I gotta send you my pictures of the crossing the line ceremony. They're fucking no hilarious. Hazing. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, uh sorry, what? extra period of instruction. There extra you go. Period Much, of instruction. Better. <laughs> Much better. Yes, I am a shellback. Uh, it took me actually a while to get there, though. I did a lot of, de- I did like five deployments before I finally got there. Damn. Uh, yeah, just never. We always flirted with it and never actually crossed. And then finally, yeah, finally crossed. What type of ship is that's a wasp class, right? It is. Yep. And then uh, that was my, yeah, that was my first amphib. Yeah. Gator squares. But, oh, my goodness. And I'm a flight deck guy. So I just, I know. Like when we're yes! turning, I just watch us going. I'm like, oh my God. 
feeling like we're out there for no reason until we actually what? deploy. It feels like we're just literally doing circles. What did you squares. have um, on the on the deck? Uh, sea stallions, uh, 53s, yep. 46s. Yep, all that. Uh, Cobras, Hueys. Nice. Um, MH60s. You know they Harriers. were starbirds. Uh, Harriers, yep. We have the Harriers. Obviously, they're decom now um, with the F-35s. But, yeah, had Harriers. Uh, and then it would, took me one day. I was, uh, I guess, undesignated. You know, I got to decide where I was going to go. At least that's how they tell you, you know. That's how they advertise it. Yeah. And uh, it took me one too. day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ended up getting stuck, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And it took me one day uh, of watching flight ops, and I knew what I wanted to do. So, and I I loved the job. I absolutely loved the job. It was just, you know, twenty years. It's time to go home. It's time to enjoy the family. So, did you get as a chief? Yeah, I retired as a chief. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Raw chief. That's so awesome. I appreciate man. it. So chief you're has... the... <clears throat> yeah, ch the chiefs chiefs. Uh, they got it pretty good in the in the They're navy. The shit. Man. I'm sorry. Yeah, shit. they got their own mess deck. Yeah, we got our own mess. Coffee uh, cups that hanging from a board. Yeah, like don't. And that was like, like as soon as I made chief, I was like, I want a coffee. Cup. <laughs> Give me a coffee cup in the mess. Like, <laughs> do you wash? I had to make mine different. Than the question else. is, uh, do you wash your coffee cup? No. <laughs> wash coffee cups. <laughs> no. <laughs> You drink it, whatever's left, you hang it back up and use it the next day. Yeah. Or later that day, depending on your hours. You know, it flavors. It flavors the cup. It's good. Yes. Yep. <laughs> you do not wash the coffee cup. Right. I remember when I was like a third class, I didn't know any of this. You know, I'm new to like I'd only been in like 18 months. And uh somebody like the yeoman, the divisional yeoman, like washed the chief's coffee cup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought like the world was ending. I was like, what is going on? Why is he so mad? Oh, he got his coffee cup washed. What are we talking yeah. about? <laughs> yeah. But now in hindsight, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. I'd be mad too. <laughs> I'd be upset too. So. Yeah. So, hey, uh, when you when you made chief, did you invite any uh, junior sailors to the locker? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Uh, the year before. Um, you know, the training that you have to go through as a chief uh, season. Yeah. Um, there was, you know, some stuff going on and, uh, and they, they were adamant that none of that would ever happen. So. So my master chief, yeah. my, my, my master chief invited me to the locker once. So I was like, nah, I'm good. I'll just, I'll stop being a <laughs> jackass. <laughs> I just, yeah. I'll just stop. <laughs> I'm good. Master chief. Yeah. I heard about the locker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Brian, uh... <laughs> Brian, I heard um, from one of my other chief buddies who we've had on this show before, he's yeah. still gone. He just made chief and he's still going through yeah. that year thing can you uh can you dive first year? yeah his first year yeah okay um i mean basically what they teach you is that going from e6 to to chief in the navy there is no e7 if you're an e7 you're not a chief um and so going from e6 to chief is like the biggest transition you'll make in your military career now, as far as the navy goes at least um and <clears throat> they tell you your first year you think you know like, you know, you like, I'm ready. I'm ready to be a chief. I'm ready to do that. And then the first year is you're just the first year, like chill out, relax. And yes, you've earned your anchor, quote unquote, but you need to now learn how to use your anchor. So that first year is like another year of training. Huh. Um, not anything like crazy, you know, it's just like you need to learn how to be a chief because, you know, essentially we, we, we run the Navy officers can think they do, yeah. but, <clears throat> but the chiefs do. So, and that's what the first year uh, is. There's the season, which is on, you know, six weeks of like intense training. And then the next, the following year is you learning how to use your anchor properly. How long have you been a chief? Uh, this would be year six, seven, right in that nice. range. But nice. obviously it would have been, but <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It was a nice little run. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. 
I definitely, it's like you said earlier, uh, it's, it's, it's got its privileges for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's a better food, good coffee. Where's your, uh, what was your favorite uh, duty station? Ooh. I've had how, a few good ones. How many stations uh, have you been to? Uh, I've been on, I've done three ships, like actually stationed on three ships, been TAD to, I don't know, like six. Um, and then I did two shore tours. Uh, the first one, I was a young kid and kind of wasted it. I'm not going to lie. Kind of, you know, enjoyed my shore duty for three years after being on the ship for five. Um, but my next one was there in Millington at MPC. Um, and so I've done six, five or six tours, five or six different duty stations. Um, but I'd say my first one probably still holds a little special place in my heart. The Iwo, just the, you know, it was yeah. my first time, you know, first few years in the Navy, the people I met, I'm still to talk to a lot of them. Um, and then my probably my second favorite tour was being an LPO on a carrier. That was a good tour for me. That was a huge, and I like it was a stressful tour, but it was just how much I learned and how much I grew. That one stands out to me a lot too. Which what carrier? carrier? Yeah. Uh, I was attached <laughs> to Bush. I was I was Bush. on the USS yeah George H W Bush in Norfolk. There, uh, yeah. been TAD to like five of them, but that was the one I was actually stationed on. I love the PX at Norfolk. It's amazing. It yeah. It's yeah. Uh, amazing <laughs> and it's at least when i left it was a double decker i don't know if they added another oh no no dude they but... got elevators and escalators my wife and i we went <laughs> yeah. there we're like holy fuck this is a yeah. fucking mall yeah i remember when it was single story and then they started adding the second story like as i left yeah dude they got like homeware stuff like all the way on the top floor like, like bedding like beds mattresses like what the... like we were like what is this <laughs> Yeah, it's and it's huge. It's even the bottom floor is massive. And dude, it beats any Marine Corps exchange any day of the fucking week. I'm sorry. I love the MCX, <laughs> but I love the NEX way better. Sorry, no offense. Yeah. More. No, the Norfolk next is different for sure. But it has to be. It's so many sailors there. So many sailors. How many like, yeah. sailors? Do you think? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Um, I believe it's the lo largest. Time, it's the largest base in the world. It is. It's the largest uh, naval base, at least. Um, yeah. And at at one point, I think we had like six carriers there, just the carriers. That's not including all the small, you know, the small yeah. ones. Like, so parking is a nightmare, but the next is amazing. Yeah, the next is amazing there. God bless you, man. So I mean, <laughs> so okay, how was your? I mean, you're still. What are you, what are you like? Um, e you're ETSing in like a month, two months. Uh, what's going uh, on? I actually retire in September. September thirtieth is my official retirement. Welcome uh, to first save dev. <laughs> did you uh, did you have a, did you have a retirement party yet, or are you wait until September? Uh, no, I did. I already. <laughs> you know, here in California, it's hot, uh, and I'm blessed enough to have a pool. So we just did it in the backyard, invited of a lot of the close pool. friends of, of course. Yeah. Um, Everybody's ha everybody has yeah, a pool it's California. in California. Like, it's California. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I just had it in the backyard, man. Like, you know, played cornhole and drank a, a lot of different stuff. Huh. Um, <laughs> Weird. Sailor uh, drinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember most of the night. Um <laughs> but I and I don't get down like that very often. But you know, it's my retirement party. Is you know, yeah. Uh, but it was a good time. It was a really good time. A lot of good friends. You know, family came up. Yeah, I had it. I had it already. I'll probably have another one, like a smaller one, on the official. You know, towards the official date. Yeah, but a month after that, I have a kid on the way. Uh, <laughs> so, oh man, hey, listen. Thank you. <laughs> You're not supposed to have children when you retire, man. I'm You're supposed to do that you, years ago. <laughs> Wait, Brian, how old are you? I'm 39. Oh, he's young, man. He's young. Yeah, and I already have two boys, and now I'm about to have a third. Wait, oh, you are the same age, and I'm not going to bring this up because, well, someone else brought it up to me, but you are the same age as J.D. Vance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, uh, we're, not to talk, yeah. we're not supposed to talk politics, bro. I know, but dude, hey, <laughs> look, a guy in our VFW, he said, yeah, J.D. Vance, he's about our age. I'm like, dude, I haven't been 39 in seven years. He is not yeah. my age. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I don't do politics, even though I live in California, but I just don't. Yeah. For 20 years, to me, it didn't matter who was our president. It's not like we could say no. Like, at the end of the exactly. day, I don't really we care. We serve at the pleasure. Yeah, exactly. Whoever's now, that, maybe, yeah. now maybe I'll start paying attention, you know? Well, but. I would say it would be pretty cool to have a Marine as a vice president. So. It kind of would, man. <laughs> it kind of would. I mean, I got to lie. That's pretty dope. <laughs> it's, got a, it's got a nice ring to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think uh, BS will be tolerated. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, I don't think they're going to, you know, they're not going to back down. That's for sure. No, but I, I guarantee you. Okay. I don't know if I should say this. I'm going to say right. it anyway. I, I'm gonna, I guarantee you if uh, there's a sniper on the roof and somebody uh, takes a shot at somebody, I guarantee you <laughs> somebody's going to lose their job if there's a Marine in charge, though. Dude, I fucking open up my mouth and, and I just open Pandora's box right now. Damn it. <laughs> I, all I'm saying is that it baffles me that nobody has lost their job yet. Hey, she quit, man. Or she resigned, right? She said she's not going to, unless she did today and I didn't hear it yet. I thought... No, I, wait a minute. I know what you're talking about, but yeah. I, don't, I'm like an, I don't know enough information to give an opinion yeah. on it, really. Uh, hey, listen. <laughs> this, this is a station hey. where your opinion... <laughs> First we of have all, lots of them. Like I'm not asshole. even trying to... I just don't know. I, I just want to point out first that I'm not, I'm not on either one of these two jackasses side. I, I vote independent. <laughs> <laughs> neither one of these two are, neither one of these two are like uh, eligible to run the country. If you ask me. I, I that I can agree with <laughs> that. I can agree with. Yes. But Hey, no, I was, yeah, she did resign. She resigned yesterday. The secret service lady. So she so, did. Yeah, oh, I she didn't. Did. So I, if, if, my television not, is on. It's only on baseball or football. I don't. I don't yeah. watch the news yep. because it shit frustrates the shit out of me. So I don't yes. watch it. No, it just, dude, I, I'm the same way. I just get yeah. Yahoo yep. stuff like Google, yeah. like I and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I literally did not see that. You know, I, that's how I, I see, knew Joe Biden even resigned because I see stuff about the Royals. Like, Biden. <laughs> he... Now they're saying that Joe Biden might even be dead because they haven't seen him since he freaking dropped out. No, no. No, he he's making some kind of an announcement about officially. Is he going to tip his down? Head. Is he yeah. going to come out and say something? Yeah, he's probably going to stare into the you know he's gonna, <laughs> that thousand yard stare of his. That's it right, right. there. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey. My mom hates it when I make fun of him. She's like, "Don't do that," because my mom is a huge Democrat, huge. Oh. And that's fine. And that's fine. It is fine. Like I, I love this country so much. I, I do, man. But the people that are running it, man, they just make us look mm. like fucking buffoons, man. Buffoons. Like, seriously, why, the best we have to offer is two dudes that are in their 80s. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's got to be out thing. there. I agree with that 100%. You're <laughs> telling me that the best we have is two 80-year-old guys who barely, like, one can barely even speak. Yeah, and the other like, ones. Uh, let's be honest. Yeah, every interview I've ever seen, I'm like, "What is he talking about?" <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Hey, one can one can <laughs> speak, and the other one. Wait just, a minute! Wait, wait. <laughs> the other one's an angry old man. <laughs> wait a minute! Oh, wait. Hey, Dude, we're supposed to be talking about sure. Brian. You started oh, yeah. it. <laughs> I did start it. It's, it's my fucking fault. Completely. Blame the fucking corporal. It's my fault. <laughs> All right, so I got Damn another question. Okay, can we get back on to Brian yeah, and, and start question? Yeah. <laughs> what was your what's your favorite coast? There you go. Oh, ooh, that's um, a good question. I know yeah. my favorite. I've been mostly East Coast. I did thirteen years there. Um, thirteen. And there's years. a big rival. There's a big yes. rivalry in the Navy there's between a, the yeah. There's a big East, East Coast West Coast thing. Um, yeah. And I have to say, you know, it's crazy. I was thinking about it, like if this question does come up. I have to say the East Coast is better. Um, hey, and Marine I say Corps, that as far as the Navy we have goes, that same thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, as far as the Navy Paris goes, Island, is way better than Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to say the East Coast is better. I just feel Booyah! like the work, 
the work ethic is a little bit higher on the East Coast. Oh, yeah. West Coasters, I'm sorry. You can be upset with me if you want. But um, at least this is just my experience. Um, East Coasters tend to want to work a little bit harder and work together more. I feel like the West Coast kind of sees it more as a um, – Hey, man. Instead of just putting the mission first, it's like, oh, I'm doing this so I can shine a little bit brighter. So I can go like, surf, man. I, I got to get a ton of yeah. surfing. Uh, and I, as far as like what, which one outside the Navy, like the benefits of it, ooh, man, I don't know. Because like California, of course, is beaches and, you know, a lot of, yeah. a lot of stuff to do in California. Um, a lot, especially if you go up north, you know, towards the Redwoods and stuff like that. But East Coast, you can go down to Hatteras and OBX and take an eight-hour trip to Florida. Like, yeah. So it's uh, it's pros lie. and cons. I, I ain't gonna lie, it would be pretty dope to be stationed in Florida, but I'm a West Coast sailor, so that's why I asked. Brian, were you yeah. ever stationed at NSA Panama City? No, I literally have done Norfolk, unfortunately, for 13 years. I did Damn. Millington and I did San Diego. Wow. That's it. But I got just bounced around in Norfolk. You yeah, know? yeah. That's yeah. They wouldn't let me go. I kept asking, but they didn't hey, let me go. If you, <laughs> if you ever get a chance to go down to NSA Panama City, um, my dive shop that I use all the time when I go down there, um, my fraternity brother owns a dive shop across the street from NSA Panama City. It's an amazing base. PX is not as big as it's Norfolk, NAS. but it's still pretty good. Whatever. And it, what I say, NSA. <laughs> yeah. NSA. Sorry, <clears throat> naval. Naval activity or something? Activities, Air. come on. No. <laughs> this man? <laughs> no, it's Naval Special Activities. It's NSA, Panama City. Is I guarantee it. Oh. Like... It. oh I, if, if, it, if it's NAS, it's Naval Air. If it's NSA, yeah. my bad, it's going to be. Oh, yeah, case. NSA, Panama City. My bad. Housing, yeah. yeah, yeah. My, NSA, my apologies. <laughs> that's okay, man. We've never been there, so. <laughs> dude, wait, Fleek. I, I, thought you a... meant, I thought you meant a Naval Air Station. No, dude, it's yeah. where they, they train the uh, the divers and shit like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I and, I, dude, I took a picture of me outside of the NSA Panama City VA just for you. <laughs> just to send it to you. Just to send it to you. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're wearing clothes. I was. I was <laughs> working out. I did like eight miles that day. Actually, I was dressed in boots and utes. I was did doing you, a uh, boots and utes walk. Did you send me a dick pic from the NSA? No. no, no. <laughs> Dude, listen. I'm going to tell you guys truthfully. I haven't sent any dick pics since like the 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 late 2000s. Okay? I don't do that shit anymore. <laughs> I'm married. I got a good yeah. life. I don't need to send dick pics anymore. Yeah, don't need to cause any more stress in your life. <laughs> yeah, I can. I did say, once at Twenty Nine Palms, California, had... to my first wife, who's now my ex-wife. I did that. That was a we long were time all ago. Young, you know, <laughs> we were young. Yeah. We we're young and yeah. stupid. <laughs> we all do questionable things. We do very, especially <laughs> E fours. We do very questionable things. Yeah, Brian, do you know? Do you? Do you remember that story that I told on your seventh Patriot um, uh, post? Like when you did crazy shit in the Marine Corps? Oh, like yes. Sweeping up sand? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm 26 years old and I get busted for drinking in Iraq in 2005. Yeah. Yeah. That was fucking <laughs> stupid. That was With your dumb. rifle between your legs. Yeah. With a rifle. Yeah. And <laughs> guess who? Okay. And the guy who came, who saved me, who woke me up. Was a fucking major. I got two gold oh. oak leaves, and I opened yeah. my eyes and I'm like, "Hi, sir." Ah, shit. I'm yeah. In my head, I'm like, "Oh shit." Yeah. Out loud, I'm like, "Hi, sir. I'm dehydrated." That was I'm my dehydrated. Excuse, right there. He's probably like, "Yeah, makes you hard, motherfucker." What I didn't say in that post was I was drunk as fuck that day, outside yeah. the MWR on a Jersey barrier. We already knew that though. When I you said say, I was outside on a Jersey bear, I already put two, yeah. two together. But you already like, knew, dude. You knew. You yeah, knew. Yeah. You as a chief already knew what was going on when I said that. Yeah, I already knew. I was like, oh, I know why he's asleep on a Jersey barrier. Like, that, so, there's and only one funny. reason you're asleep there. Yeah. Dude, I lied to the uh, I lied to the chief officer or whatever the uh, the the base officer. Like I lied to him. I'm straight face. My E7 came comes running over and he starts fucking yelling and screaming at me. This Gunny, Gunny Hill, 
Thank God. Gunny, if you were listening, hi, how are you? Master Sergeant Hill now, but Gunny Hill was my platoon sergeant. Comes over, screaming, gets the truth out of me. And I'm like, yeah, I drank. He's like, yeah, yeah. you fucking dead motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, knife handing me, like, guessing this on this. And I just felt like this big before I go before you, the van. Uh, let me ask you a question. Did you already have your Purple Heart? In 05? No, I did not. I was uh, a dude. I, I had say? just. I had just pinned on E3. Uh -huh. Well, say goodbye to that E3. You're going back to E2. Yeah. And you're on every <laughs> fucking working party for that deployment. And I was, dude. I did I did post, patrol, and every convoy known to fucking man. Did I was did you learn I your didn't lesson? get any That's sleep. Just, from... Exactly. <laughs> dude, did you ever sleep on a Jersey barrier again? No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go good job gunny <laughs> but dude my guys like like my guys they they always whenever they call me up hey what's up like what's up far How, how's the drinking going i was like well i've been sober six years now but yeah and they, dude, they bring up the uh, hey it'll be uh january 31st will be my six years i gotta go to a meeting to get my chip i'll be posting about that so yeah, I'll, I'll share. Guys, and look like out and for all that. that. Yeah, absolutely. And, Congratulations on that. And Brian, me. dude, I'm going to be getting a list of people that have helped me. And Fleek, Fleek helped me out. He's he's one of the guys that I'm going to list on that. Like the VFW, Rev Warriors, Save a Warrior. Um, shit, I go to Camp Southern Ground next in September. Can't wait to go to that. And I'll tell yeah. you all about it, man. Oof, it's going to be awesome, Brian. I'm excited to hear that. Yeah, it's gonna I be don't awesome. <laughs> I don't know. But, hey. I don't know. Don't get hey, drunk while you're there. Long time. That's dedication, man. Really, really, fleek. <laughs> Actually, I did have a guy. I went to an irreverent warrior hike in Jacksonville, and some guy that knew that I was sober, and I had been sober for like three years. So I go down to Jacksonville to any, you know, NAS Jacks, Mayport. You know, love those bases, by the way. Um went to this hike and he's like, Hey, you want a shot? I'm like, dude, I've been sober for three years. No, I don't want a shot. And yeah, it's okay. He was drunk as shit when he asked me. <laughs> he totally forgot that I was sober. <laughs> he just wanted somebody to join in with him. Hey, listen, Brian, they got a good hike. Um, LA and San Diego, San Diego does a good hike. Um, yeah. San Diego has a lot of them. Yeah, you should. Um, and I could, you know, Donnie O'Malley, he would love to fucking meet you. Have you ever met him? And have you ever no. watched Vet TV? No, but I'm about to write that down. <laughs> uh, dude, Donnie created Vet TV, and it's fucking hilarious. Donnie, you're fucking welcome. And I'm it's founded by a Marine, it. by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's got a new um, a new series on Vet TV coming out. It's called Drill, and it makes it 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 covers the entire spectrum of recruiting and the drill instructors. Oh. It's I've seen the shit on Instagram. I can't wait. I cannot wait to fucking see it. Uh, oh man, recruiting! I'm, I'm trying to find how much it costs for. It's cheap. It's five ninety nine a month. Yeah, I get. And you get a free. Hey, if you sign up, Fleek, you get a free T-shirt. That's what Donnie says in his last Instagram that I just saw in like an hour ago. Oh yeah, maybe I will. Dude, dude, you have Fleek, to watch I'm it on your phone though. Can I watch it on my t television? Yeah, you just gotta stream it uh, to your your TV. Yeah. Oh, but, just but, share it. Yeah, from your phone. There you go. It's, but it's not on like. Uh, uh, no, it's an ad. No, it's just phone shit. But you could just share yeah. it with your. Um, I could do that with my 64-inch TV. Sorry. It's not 70. It's 64-inch. 64. 64. 64. It's not, not 70. Big enough. It's, no. But mine's no, only, Fleek. Mine's uh, only Fleek, 85. How was your, uh, how was your uh, boot camp experience, Fleek? Mine? It was cold as fuck. I went in January. And Great Brian, late. you went in December. So both you guys yeah. had... The horrible parts of Chicago. It was, it was so cold. It was <laughs> and I'm I jealous. Went from the desert to that, and I was like, "I'm jealous." Yeah, see, 
He went from the <clears throat> desert to that. I went from Michigan. I, all I did was cross the lake. I did the oh, opposite. No. I did I did I summertime in, for Paris Island and then North Carolina during fucking <laughs> infantry training. That was cold as Dude. fuck. My, I remember, uh, like when the, it was snowing like hell, man. Like the the snow banks were like eight feet tall. Yeah, it and, was. Uh, it was brutal. And I remember <clears throat> the company commanders like, uh, "Hey, how many people have never seen snow before?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Man, don't raise your hand, you idiot!" And all these people are like, "No, I've never seen snow before." And they're like, "All right, get a fucking shovel and get outside." <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm like, you guys are stupid, man. I saw that coming a mile away. <laughs> hey, <yeah. laughs> Every question they ask is a setup. But it's, like, it's just yeah. a setup. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Every freaking question. So you guys, both Fleek and Brian, were both on the West Coast for a little bit. San Diego uh, for you, Alameda for Fleek. Um, did you guys ever, I mean, go to 29 Palms at all just for a visit? Uh, Say hi. I have driven through there. Sucks. Uh, they're, they're, I'm never, I've never stopped because I don't know what you would stop for. But um, like I've driven small, through. Yeah. Like the base is like this tiny on like that much land. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And Camp Wilson, <laughs> terrible. Horrible. Yeah, I did it twice. It's insane there. Two years in a row. 29 Palms is terrible. No. Where yeah, because I live. Hey, where would you rather go? 29 <laughs> Palms or Ramadi? Ramadi. What? Definitely, <laughs> definitely Ramadi. Definitely Ramadi. <laughs> Not a question. No. Definitely Ramadi because I I get to blow shit up with like two hundred threes and saws and eighty fours and laws and and we get you know we get carte blanche. We can have gunny rolls. We can unblouse our boots. Like we don't have to salute anyone. If it was a twenty nine palms, rules, rules, no, rules. Yeah, no rules Stupid in Ramadi. Rules. We didn't have any. <clears throat> It was the Wild West. It was awesome. <laughs> That's how it needs to be. Dude, You're still going to get the job done. Like, I had promise. one guy. <laughs> I had one guy. We were on a patrol, and he stuck his M32, you know, the street sweeper with uh, the six barrels. He would stick it out the Humvee, and I'm not going to give you his name because I don't want to get him in trouble. <laughs> and he, would, he would stick it out the window and just start firing. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh it was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> hey, but there were Mujahideen, ISIS, Taliban. They were all there in Ramadi. It was bad news bears. Yeah. Summer of 2006, we were on Time Magazine, Ramadi. Day, most dangerous city in the fucking world. Uh, they didn't say fucking because it's Time Magazine. Most <laughs> dangerous <laughs> city. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. But hey. I tend to leave those words out. You know, I just, I wish, I wish I had spent more time on ship because I loved my ship duty. I had seven months and 23 days for sea duty. It was I have awesome. never heard anybody say. I loved They it. wish they had, specifically Marines, say. I, I loved the ship, I dude. I lived with all my corporals, all my NCOs. Mm. When the smoking lamp was lit, we were out there quick, fast, in a hurry. After Chow, before Chow, mid rats, which by the way, love mid rats. I love mid rats. Hey, mid rats came in clutch, man, when you're out there, like some foreign port and you ran yep. out of money. So yep. you just go back to the ship and just grab some mid rats and you hit your rack and go to bed and get up yep. the next morning. And do it all that is again. true. When we were in Dubai, <laughs> now, we were, I ran out of money. Is... I had to go to mid rats. Yeah. Mid-Rats is always questionable, though. You don't Brian, know what been, you're going to get. Have you been yeah. to Dubai, Brian? I love Dubai. So did I. I love Dubai. It is one of my favorite cities I've ever been to. 100%. Agreed. And it's not. Agreed. And my, my wife has been there, too, on hers on her deployments, and she feels the same way. It, Dubai is amazing. Like, Agreed. Amazing. It's The people are wonderful, too. They're super nice. They're incredibly helpful. Everything is five yeah. star. Everything yep. is five. How, how come the like, Dubai? How come everybody in Dubai is so chill, but everybody else in the uh, in that they can region what, just all those, kill all, those, all those Arabics? They all drink. They all get fucked yeah. up. I so, did. I know because I got fucked yeah. up with some of them. That doesn't make sense to me though. What, hey, like, they're chill out, man. They're, they're more the westernized. Hey. But, but you yeah. would think 
you'd think all the radicals would want to kill them because they're westernized. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't get it. Either. They are. They're super chill, and they're they're super nice. Like they're incredibly nice, and the food amazing. The people yep. amazing. Did you everything. go skiing? Like, even, yeah, went. Yeah, snowboarding. You did indoors. ski to buy. Yeah. Yeah. You lucky bad. They, indoors. Yeah. they closed it off because too many people yep. didn't know how to ski and they kept on breaking shit. So they're yeah. like, I, I got it, lucky to buy. To before they, off limits. Yeah. Yeah. Before too many stupid people got involved, I got to do that. Damn. Uh, Good yeah. For you. Yep. Yeah. It's awesome there. I love Dubai. Yeah, that city's got Dubai. like unlimited money too, man. They just build it does. Shit. It has so many, so many, like, I mean, obviously, it's not going as far, but like taxis, there are Mercedes. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> crazy. Those are just those are Honda Civics. Like yeah. nobody cares about Mer- like everybody's got a, a custom Bugatti and a Lambo and it's insane. You know, yeah, Brian, did you no know? One so happy there. That when we were there, <laughs> we we had we had three guys that actually cussed out a royal and gave her the finger. <laughs> and those three Marines were arrested. And put into no. Dubai in prison. Yeah, they don't play. They don't play fucking with that. play. No, no, they don't play it that. Like, it was, it was, it is. Dubai is one of my. It's probably one of my top three, three cities I've ever been to. Rome is up there because Rome is amazing, and Tokyo, phenomenal city. Damn. If you've never been to Tokyo, to to Tokyo, oh my goodness. Have you ever been so, to Singapore? I have been to Singapore too, and Singapore was awesome. Singapore is pretty Singapore nice. is awesome. They don't play either, though. They have a lot of laws, a lot yeah. of like you can't chew gum and walk the street. Like, but everybody there is nice. Again, the food is amazing. Like the culture is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but and when I got you, I actually you... stayed at the the cool hotel. I forget what it's called, but it's got the pool on top that connects the three buildings. No, I got to stay there. Way. Yeah, I forget what it's called, but it's. That's Damn. insane. Insane. What about um Rota Spain? Rota was good for me. Rota's a good time. Yeah. Rota's a good time. Uh, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. But yeah, I definitely Rota's went outside time, the circle when I was in Rota. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to uh, Australia? I did. I got to go to Sydney this last uh this last nice. appointment I did. Nice. Sydney, awesome. Yeah, awesome, I went awesome, to- awesome. Every everybody there is like in shape and uh, like incredible. Like I'm like, what in the world do you do? Like it's just <laughs> like supermodels in America walk in the streets and in Sydney. Like yeah. it's insane. I was on the other side. I was I went to Perth. Okay, we, were we didn't. I wanted to days. like travel a little bit, but oh yeah, we were only there for like four, three or four, I think. So yeah, we were there for two weeks. It was Christmas time, so they. Kept us there all the way through Christmas and New Year's. Oh, yeah. And it was pretty dope because it was back in 1986, uh, the America's Cup or was going on at the time. The the sailboat race. Yeah. Yep. It was pretty It was pretty sick, man. So, Brian, it sounds like you did a Westpac and a med float. I've oh. done four meds and one Westpac. Were you on a Mew? Four? With, uh, with Marines? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> what, what you? Uh, two 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 four two six. Two four. You were the two um, four. Ah, yeah. Yeah, we went. Uh, so we. It was funny because uh, one of I forget if it was my first or second uh, deployment was LHD seven Ewo, <laughs> and then with the twenty fourth Mew, and then we went through the the Suez on six yep. six six. Nice. Yeah. Really. Yeah. So yeah, we I thought was, it was uh, going to be an absolute shit deployment, but it ended up being a good one. A good time. Were you scraping the sides and going through the Suez? No, it was a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. But uh, that was my that was my first one. Yeah, first one was at 06. I was on the yeah. So that was my first time going through. Okay, so, um, that yeah, was I did fun. 24th. We had okay, yeah, and then yeah, over okay. here. On the west, what is? I don't even know. Whatever one's in Japan. Uh, that's the thirty worst, or the eleventh, or the thirty first. Thirty worst. The thirty worst. The thirty worst. The thirty worst. They were. I've done. 
like four muse i've worked with four muse they i will agree they are no offense 31st mute you're the worst you are the worst they just expect everything to be like oh plan like because i'm a i'm a flight deck guy i'm an abh so you know we obviously flight ups is my thing and they're like no we need this bird i'm like none of your birds fly anyway just leave it over there so i can have an open deck like so i can fly actual aircraft that work like because osprey they don't they they don't know nope. they're not good you nope. never been don't. in one never going to be in one no <laughs> never going to be in nope. an osprey um nope. they've been working on that for decades and still can't on amtrak right, so. you you will not find me in an amtrak anytime fucking nah. soon. <laughs> Yeah, 31st Mew is definitely the most difficult to work so with. So you had so <laughs> if you were so you uh you had reign of all the Hilo squads that were with mm-hmm. the Marines. Cuz yeah. we were at we were I was a Hilo squad, so I was fast rope out of 46s, 53s. Um it was really cool. We would do <laughs> we would do we would do rucks with our packs on the top deck. It was yeah. Awful. Yeah, it was awful because we always had to clean up after you guys. We just would walk around. <laughs> we would just do this. We just do, like do circles for hours. Hey, hey Brian, <laughs> what's the longest you uh, spent uh, at sea without coming into port? Um, I don't remember. I think it was like 118, 120 days, something like that. Um, is the longest I've been ever been out. I mean, now with COVID and everything, those numbers are, those are rookie numbers. Yeah. Um, in comparison to what's going on, you know, what's been going on now. Yeah. Um, since, uh, since the problem is COVID happened and they proved they could stay out there for that long. So the Navy of course is like, well, we're going to, you know, figure out how to save money and keep you out there. Uh, but yeah, longest, been 120 days. My longest was, uh, yeah. Dubai to Bangladesh. We didn't stop at all. So however long that takes, I think it took us, it took us a while. It took us like a week or no, less than a week. I don't know. It took us forever and forever in a day. Like we left Dubai. Yeah. And we went around. Nothing, man. I was like Why? seven days. He said a week. Yeah. He said forever in a day. <laughs> dude, that was a long fucking time, dude. We, we would stop like. Longest every- we did was 107 days. That's three and a half months. Yeah. That's what I think. Long, no, yeah, but uh, no. Uh, yeah, 120 is mine, like give or take somewhere yeah. in there. And it's that's long enough. I'm good. Yeah, I read a, like a year or so ago, uh, like a carrier did like a whole goddamn year, man. I'm like, what the That's fuck? what happened. I think it was the I, Ike. The Ike, the Ike just yeah. came back. And they did. I was like, Holy did, shit. It was like 250. 30 or 250 yeah. and that's what i'm saying is covid that's horrible that they were able to do it so now they're keeping them out long periods at a time yeah hell no. yeah they just long um periods. i just saw that on on um it, uh not instagram linkedin the ike just came back and it's like they had this huge party and yeah. they were out forever that sounds yep. horrible man yeah that would be that would be miserable like that would be miserable. Dude, three and a half months just, was hard. Just for the mental break, you know, not even like the, you know, like real real food is wonderful, of course, but just for the mental break of the monotony of the everyday, the groundhog day routine that you get into. Uh, you're out, right, you know? Nice. Yeah. Nice one. That's what it is. It's nice. it's you get in a groove and that's it. You like that's what you do for the next X amount Rinse, of days until Rinse and repeat for yeah. ever. Do they still do steel beach picnics after was yeah. it 30 or 60 uh, days? We usually it's 45. 45 ish. days. Yeah. 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 Beer, is Which that, I is also that, is that beer on the pier? No, that's no. on the deck. Steel Beach is yeah, it's on the flight deck. They okay. bring out the barbecues and you know, yeah. get sodas and nope, chips. We and didn't get that burgers. Mm, nope. It's basically a safety stand down every 45 days. Yeah. Nope. We didn't they get did that. they did give us beer, but that was again, that was 40 freaking years ago. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, not anymore. <laughs> as wonderful was, as that would be, yeah. That's... Yeah, it was cool because they had like high lows just lifting up. Big giant pallets and just stacks of beer, bringing it out on the lining them out on the uh, flight deck. The Navy was different in the eighties for sure. Yeah, <laughs> man, dude, they wouldn't. We went to Suda Bay, Greece, and they wouldn't even let us out into the town. So we had to have oh, beer Bay's on the awesome pier. Too. Damn it, Suda Bay's awesome. Oh. 
That reminds, we did something similar in Diego Garcia. Did you ever make it to Diego Garcia? No, I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Dude, it was I, crazy. I've heard more than enough about Diego. Yeah. There's people I'm actually good. stationed on that thing. Mm -hmm. It's not even an island. It's an atoll. Yeah. And they uh, all I hear about is crabs and that you can go fishing. Yeah. You can't but you really... do get like your like preference of duty afterwards. Well, um, yeah, I would never want to be stationed out there. But you're there for a year on a company or two years a company mm. or something like that. I forget what it is now, yeah. but you, you can't yeah, even go. You can't even really go swimming because there's like we're out there and uh, you could see dorsal fin just swim, swimming by. It's like mm. oh, damn, can't even go swimming. <laughs> yeah, can't even. It, <laughs> and I heard it gets pretty warm there. So yeah. So now that we've you know. Swap some sea stories, you and Fleet Cat, because <laughs> I, I kind of had to mute myself on some of that, because uh, I don't have many. I don't have that many cool sea stories. I only have, you know, seven months of sea time. So you guys have a lot more than me. But Brian, what are you doing now? I mean, now that you're, you know, retired, and what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Uh, so right now I work for Seven Eagle Group. I'm the social media director there. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, awesome. What's the no, social it's media? It's great. It's what awesome. does the social media director do? Uh, so I manage all the do uh, this kind of stuff. I do podcasts. I do interviews. Uh, put up just you know transition tips. Primarily, we we try to help transitioning service members uh, start their next career, their post military career. Um, try to make take that you know help them with that burden because uh, obviously you guys transitioned out yourself. It's a lot. It's a lot of appointments a lot of paperwork and nobody cares like except for you so you're nobody trying cares. to do all this stuff to transition out and you're just like man like so we try to take you know some of that stress off them help them uh do a skill bridge primary as our primary focus we do have some direct hires um but uh primarily skill bridge where they get to do you know essentially an internship with a company of their choice they don't have to be on the dod skill bridge website uh approved we can work that for them so they can you know if their uncle owns a plumbing company or something and they just want to go back home you know uh, transition out a few months early and work for their uncle for three months we can make that happen um so but the social media side of it is you know I, like i said i put up i do interviews with uh veterans that have success stories i help them you know we can help with resumes we can help with interviewing for positions you know um and then we put up you know just tips and tricks kind of stuff like that um but we're jordy is the ceo and uh really good dude he's not a vet himself his dad was um but he just loves helping veterans so that's why he even established the company to begin with um but he yeah he's just he loves the idea of helping veterans you know get to where they really want to be that's Dude, awesome. I love your content, man. I mean, I found you on LinkedIn, mm. and I'm like, damn, this fucking shit is awesome. Because well, you interviewed one of our Tennessee veterans, um, Dean Wegner. Um, yep. <clears throat> did you did you interview um, what's his name, uh, John Barry from Barry Law? I did not. That might have been before I joined. Okay. Uh, I just got with Seven Eagle about a month and a half ago. Okay. Um, but. Uh, we have a, a watch out for the next couple of weeks. I've already done, I've got like six interviews lined up. Uh, people we've placed, companies that we're working with. Uh, today, Marcellus Banks went up and he's just a, vet, a guy I served with um, that owns like a, he actually there, he's in Murfreesboro. Um, What's in his downtown name? Downtown Marcellus Banks. Uh, he lives in Murfreesboro. He's a co-investor in one of the uh it's called Dinner with Friends in Nashville. Uh, it's a restaurant. <laughs> and then he owns this, the Murfreesboro Seafood Market or something like that. Uh, the um, uh, the market that it. just opened? Um, it opened yeah, up like shortly. Maybe two years ago or something like that. Yeah, yeah. that one. Yep. Yeah, he owns that. And he no owned the way. seafood restaurant, but he sold that. Uh, is he a veteran? Yeah, he is. He's a Navy vet. Yeah, he, him and I served. We're on Bush together. Um, you, you should send us his contact information. Absolutely. Absolutely will do. Yeah. Yeah, he's right there in Murfreesboro. Yeah. Uh, 
We'll meet up with him and get some coffee. Yeah, he's coffee. a good dude. Really good yeah. dude. Damn. Uh, but his interview is up right now on our page if you want to okay. go check it out. Uh, but, yeah, that's – that's what I do now, and uh, so far I'm I'm loving it. I, I truly am. I get to you know still talk to military vets because we talk a little bit different than everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a little, little more uh, direct and aggressive, and people. Yeah, my wife yells at California. me all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my wife has been out. Uh, she did ten years. Once we had our son, she decided you know I want to be home, but right. she tells me all the time. She's like, you have to adjust how you talk to people, and I'm like. Yeah. What? They wrong. Like what I don't know. But that's yeah. how we you know, that's how I've tried, know. man. I tried. Yeah. I still swear like a fucking yeah. sailor. Yeah. yeah. Uh I, the, but Brian the cursing has had to go down a little bit. I coach football too, so I'm yeah. gonna hook Kids, you up. Youth football. Um I'm gonna hook you up with this guy, Joel. Um okay. I just got invited to MCON in October in Vegas. Um free tickets. Uh I get two of them. Um and I would love for you to meet this guy. Okay. So it's October 24th to the 27th in Vegas. I've already got tickets or I'm already going, um, but I got to hook you up with this guy, Joel. Um, okay. He will. That might be. Uh, yeah. That It'll might be, be something good... we can do. The only issue I see in that is my son is due in that time frame. Okay. So <laughs> I'll let, I have his number. So it'll I'll, be. Um, I'll hook you guys up. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to if more, more contacts, the better, uh, the more, you know, people I can connect with, the more people I can, you know, share their stories. I would love it. That's what Jordy is really trying to get to is the success stories and, you know, veterans sharing their military experience, you know, their sea stories and what they're doing now. Oh yeah. I mean, mean, yeah, me and that's it. We fucking got a lot of, we have a lot of talent, a lot of people that you can contact. Absolutely. I do. I would love it. I would absolutely love it. I'm telling you. I mean, yeah. And then I you, agree. Uh, Fleet, the, the mental health aspect, it's not, not talked about enough for sure. Yeah. Um, I just put one up every on the, I coordinated with Jordy. Um, obviously it's his company at the end of the day, but every 22nd of the month, I'm putting up the something to do with, you know, 22 a day, you know, right. Uh, put on the crisis hotline and made a post about that just last, what on Monday. Um, yeah. So I'm doing that every 22nd too. So now it yeah, doesn't get talked about enough. I, I have a question for uh, other support systems that, that one may use. Um, let's just roll into the VFW. I hope to God you remember. <clears throat> I am not. Oh, <laughs> But I can be. <laughs> uh, I think you rate it yeah. unless you got, you know, unless you don't have the Navy Expeditionary Medal. Sorry. No, yeah, I do. Absolutely. <laughs> you you yeah. have a Guadi. I know you have a Guadi. Yeah. Yeah. I got a couple of those. I did Katrina <laughs> too. So I uh, got the humanitarians. I got a couple. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. Well, hey, Department of California, I will see the, uh, I will see the commander uh probably in about three days because i'm going to the vfw okay. national convention in louisville on saturday so okay i will let you know how it goes absolutely this is my I'll third convention go. so i can't wait to go that just sounds like a good time <laughs> dude there's gonna be like ten thousand veterans like for a week and i get to have like hang out with california with europe with the pan pacific with all the departments in the, like yeah. in the conus i mean it's it's gonna be a lot of fun i can't wait absolutely fleek, actually uh fleek you can come your... up for a day if you want man uh it's three and a half hours away from us okay it's it's not that bad i'm going to see my dad in gatlinburg are you okay yeah. Okay. Hey, Saturday family morning. first, right? Yeah. Family first. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. That's why we. That's why we do what we do now. Yeah. Got to get out and enjoy the family. Hey, yeah. You, yeah. You got to do what you got to do. Hell yeah. But you definitely should um, tap into the VFW. There's a lot of, a lot of history. We've been around for 125 years. Started in 1899. Yeah. There's a lot of sea stories that you can get out of some of these posts 
And you and got I, a shit ton of people in the Department of California. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially in this area. A lot of people move up here. We're like an hour north of San Diego, an hour and yeah. a half, like, southeast of L.A. Yeah. Um, because it's, you know, it's a little cheaper. Now it's starting to build up. But yeah. uh, it's a little cheaper, a little more, you know, family-oriented. Um, and I need to uh, – we have the um, – I got to get in contact with a local VFW anyway, yep. just, you know, for, for more contacts, number one. And then number two, just you know, to Wait, get involved in the community. What town do you live in? I live in Temecula. You live in Temecula? Temecula. <laughs> yeah. About what, you know, right here by the wineries. Wineries oh, are about shit. seven minutes that way. Oh, Dude, it's Scott, Scott Hughes <laughs> used to live in Temecula. Um, Echo and Ramadi guy. He was uh, a major in the Marine Corps. He wrote about Ramadi after I was there. He he doesn't live there anymore. He moved to Texas, but he used to live in Temecula. Yeah. Okay. He just, he just sent me a, his book. Yeah, great guy. Now. Fantastic guy. I gotta read. I'm I'm looking forward to reading that. Dude, Echo and Ramadi is um yeah. Brian, look up Echo, Echo and, Ramadi. and Ramadi. Amazing book. Um, I know Scott. Me and Fleek yeah. know Scott. Um, I know his um, girlfriend, uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel Dittillo Rocco. Um, she really was attractive. from the, yeah, she was from the, the same town I grew up in, in Exeter, New Hampshire, and um, she's great. And I could definitely hook you up with those guys. Okay, absolutely. Let's see. Tem- T E M T E M C U L A. You, damn, you must me up. <laughs> Temecula. You writing Wait, in a red crayon too? Temecula. <laughs> yeah. Hi, babe. How are you? My wife just got home. All right. Post uh, 4089. It's on 28075 DS Road. Um, they meet on the second Tuesday at 7 p.m. At, uh, yeah, at that address. Commander Brian Lively. That's a good name. Yeah, it is a good name. <laughs> but yes, um, I just looked up um, on the VFW app, and you can't really see it because of can't my background. See it. Yeah, Hold your on. background's jacking you up. I know. <laughs> Where's the background? Here, you guys want to see where I really live? That's <laughs> where I shack. live. Okay, in a, <laughs> in a shack. Okay, see? Hey, and there's my wife. Hi. Hello. That's Katrina. <laughs> And my dog Baron is down here, but I just looked it up on VFW, the VFW app. So okay. all you have to do is put in a town and a, and a, a state. Boom. You find your nearest, I mean, shit. And the quartermaster is Miguel Rivas. So post 4089, you just got a new member. You're welcome. My membership number is 109-06-377. <laughs> Remember who got the credit? This guy. Why do you keep stealing my guys, man? That should have been mine. Hey, 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 if you pull this out and you got this information for the brother, you could get it. Actually, you know what, Brian? No, um, on the on the on the app app. Not uh, not this signing up for it. I'm That's like, not the app. Yeah, it is. I just locked, clicked on it. I don't remember my password. No. It's, uh, <laughs> See the little Fleek. BMW? Oh, yeah. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's... Yeah, it's this one. That's exactly where I'm at. Oh, then just get in there, man. Or you just go to find a post. Boom. You don't even have to sign in for that. But you know what? Oh, yeah. Brian Lively at the Temecula Post. Please give that to Richard Fleek, and no, and, and I'm just g- give him give him the credit. I like I don't being have, at, I like being I, at zero. <laughs> I don't have Fleek's information in front of me, so I I don't have oh, his man. membership number uh, memorized. But it's a low one. It's like five. It starts it's with a like five. Five. No, seriously. Like he's been in for twenty five years. Twenty five years, right, Fleek? Uh, it's been a long time. I don't remember. Yeah, your membership number starts with a five or a six. 
Okay, oh. mine starts with a one one. Thing. One one. Okay. No, mine's a one zero. Oh. Yeah. The the app is broken. It won't let me log in. It says there's been an internal error. Have you done? Uh, do you have you have uh, ID me? Yeah. You do. Uh huh. Well, Brian, hey, listen. Whatever. I'm gonna fix it. Go to that that post in Temecula. Sign up. I know. I just looked it up. I know exactly okay. where it is. Okay. Good. You're gonna have and fun. They need the VFW. Right there, um, and down. I'm gonna say this out loud. Mm. We need younger people who are actually just retiring. Hint, hint. To step <laughs> up and become become officers. Become to carry the torch from the guys that started it in 1899. So. I haven't been around that long. You have not. <laughs> and neither have I. I mean, I'm a boot. I'm actually a boot to both of you guys, by the way. I am. When did I'm you join? 2004. Oh, yeah. Right one at, one right year at. after, dude. Yeah. One year after. Probably only a few months. I joined in December of 03. So. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, uh, June, I was June of 04. Oh, yeah. And then I didn't Six get my months. EGA until September 17th, 2004. Oh, Lord. So I can't yeah. even call myself a Marine until September. <laughs> I guess. Hey. Yeah, yeah, hey. they work different. <laughs> hey, when you, no, 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 seriously. And I can't even, like, you can't, like, this is how it works in the Marine Corps. You're not an infantry Marine until you've done at least four years in as an infantry Marine. I okay. can call myself an inf infantry Marine. Like this, right here. I couldn't even get that until after I was all done with everything. Okay. One of, one of our friends got it tattooed on before he left for even boot camp. We had a guy. And he, and he yeah. put it on backwards. He got tattooed on backwards. I had a guy oh, in my boot camp class. He got USMC tattooed right here. That guy was from Alabama. That guy was in a world of hurt for 13 weeks. Yeah, that's a that's, yeah. a, that's a big mistake, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, damn, number you don't one, even you get your... number two. You put it in like the most obvious spot. Possible. Yeah. Yep. Like there's, you can't even hide it. Like it's... in the Marine I mean, you got to take a shower of 40 people. Like they're gonna find yeah. it eventually. Yep. You you actually get your EGA like a week before you actually graduate. It's called the EGA ceremony. It's on a Thursday, and then the next day is like family day or some shit like that. You get to see your mom or you get to call home, and then after that, you have one week left to go of like pain and suffering. Then you get to graduate. Then you can go home for 10 days. So like there, it's oh, – and that was three months, like three phases. Um, now there's four phases in Marine Corps boot camp. When I went through boot camp, three phases. Now it's four phases. I don't get it. Don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. Probably making it easier. No. I mean, shit, these kids now have ACOGs on during weapons month. This is like I learned on iron sights. Okay, you probably Brian, <laughs> Chief Hunt, you probably learned on iron sights. Yeah, we didn't have scopes. <laughs> These new kids just... are getting ACOGs. I didn't it... get one until I went to Iraq the first time. The military is definitely changing. It's uh, definitely changing, and you know, some for good and some for bad. Some for good, some for bad. Know. Yeah, just like I mean, anything, you know. F Fleet had a. I mean, I, I I swear he still had like a Tommy gun when he went to the book. <laughs> had an M1 Grand. I bet you you did. Seriously, you had an M1 Grand. That's what we use in boot camp. Damn. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah, that. that's pretty. Legit. That's pretty fucking cool. That's damn. Well, was... he's dude. We're booter than, you know, we are like, he's a salty guy. We are was, like uh, babies compared to him. I was in before Brian probably was even born. Yeah, you were talking about 86. I was born in 85, so. I was born yeah. in 77. <laughs> I, I left in 85. I left J January 28th, 1985. Yeah, you left before I was born then. You left before I was born. 
<laughs> I had just come back from the 1984 Olympics when you went to boot camp. Hey, speaking of the Olympics, oh, a couple, a couple yeah. days. <laughs> couple yeah, days. I'm excited. I love the Olympics. I love yeah. sports. So I love the opening big... ceremony. Dude, yeah. One of the one of one of the guys I went to well, I didn't go to high school. He went to the same high school as me. He made it to the Olympic rowing team. <clears throat> he's gonna be <clears throat> he's gonna be rowing in the Olympics. I'm very I'm very proud of him. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Which I actually I awesome. did row in California. I rowed at Mission Bay in San Diego. And um my college, we got our asses smoked. <laughs> I went to a college in Florida, and these California crews, man, they know how to row. These guys are good. These guys are really good. <laughs> and and I'm going to tell you that guys this because when I when I was rowing before I joined the Marine Corps, um, we rowed in Cherry uh, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, for the IRA uh, for the Inter Intercollegiate Rowing Association. We got our asses spanked by Navy. I mean, <laughs> destroyed by bo- like at least a boat length of an eight. I mean, and that's that's like that's like that much. I mean, yeah. we were like, okay, well, we went up again. We were Division Two, and we went up against them, and they just destroyed us. I mean, as it should hoo, be. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> yes, as it go should Navy. Be. <laughs> there you go, Fleek. What are you? What are you doing, man? Are you going to tell us a story? No, no, no. This is my. Uh, so it's been gnawed on by dogs multiple times. My my photo album from nice. twenty five yeah. years ago. So I just th- this was in there. I don't want to. I can't show the whole thing. It's got my social security number on it. But this is how old I am. This this was my my pay stub. Is oh, that your leave and earning statement? Yeah. Holy shit! Heck yeah. Paper? That's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that. that when you had, had to wait in, like, outside the dispersing office, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I've only heard stories. It's not, everything's been automatic since I've been in. But oh, wow. So the the dispersing office was right off the uh, the mess deck. So we'd go up there, stand in line, and that you you'd hand them this, and they'd count out in cash. Yeah. <laughs> And that's Here how you, you go. got paid. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because when I joined, you know, I still had a bunch of old head, you know, salty hey. chiefs, and they used right. to tell me stories. <laughs> Are you still banking with Navy Fed? Oh, yeah. I have $5 in that account that I set up a it? long time ago. Navy Fed. Navy Federal, baby. The best yeah. bank in the world. Why you only got five I love, bucks in there? Because I, 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 I moved all my money to Pinnacle and Ascend. Oh, you did. I still I, use. I, still I use just. Navy. I heard the rates at Navy Fed were really, really good. I was looking for a house a long time ago, and they're amazing. Yeah, Make that's what I. I like that's what I hear. But yeah, they're awesome. Like we're honestly we're ta- uh, going through refinancing our house with them right now. So, you know, nice. hey, Navy Fed is. I don't think I'll ever switch. Not the. Not they don't pay me or advertise nothing, but. I just don't think I'll ever switch. They, they've been nothing but good to me. So. Awesome. I agree. So you you don't have Navy Fed. I don't know what you're doing. To be honest, but so you, got, you did you did you did a full you did a full twenty, right? <clears throat> yeah, I did just short of I, when I re, actually retire. It'd be just short of twenty one. So you get what, like fifty percent of Chiefs pay? Is that is that how it yeah. works? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've been uh, Chief long enough to get that fifty percent. The high three, so. dude. I gotta, I gotta get you in touch with our our state surgeon for the VFW Department of Tennessee. He is a master chief. Oh, yeah, and he, <laughs> he makes it known that he's a master chief. No, well, see, this is the way. So Two stars with an anchor. But here's yeah, like, when I was he, in E six, a master like, chief once told me, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Rich. No, you're um, good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. A, a, a mass chief once told me that it the the two screws, you know, the two that's what they call it, two screws, or if you got one screw or two screws, the most important part of that whole thing is the chief petty officer part. So, like, 
she and it was uh, uh, AOCM, a yeah. Donya Kaysen. I don't know if I can shout you out or not, but she is an amazing chief, like an amazing chief. And she was, she said, the most important part. She's like, if somebody gets mad at you, like if when she was a senior chief, she wanted to be called senior chief, not senior. You know, like that was kind of the short. That's what we, you know, most of the the eights, the crazy eights, like to be called. She wanted senior chief because she felt like that was the most important part. And then she picked up nine the very like I don't know, like three months after I met her. But nice. Um, yeah, she always said the most important part of that whole thing is chief petty officer. So that master chief should know that. <laughs> well, I, was you, gonna uh, call, I was gonna call it the master chief because he doesn't even claim the navy, he claims the Marine Corps. Well, he's a corpsman, he's uh um, he's a uh so he's uh, FMF EMC, right? FMF, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly, 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 <laughs> exactly. exactly. And hey. it's nothing against HMs at all. No. But like, if you're FMF, you're yes, I understand. Like, if you're a lot of the ones that go green, they love it over there. And kudos to them because it takes a special person to do that that role too. Yeah. I, but I gotta, at the end I, of the day, you're you're United States Navy Master Chief, bro. You're not a yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah. That, that's what that's how I feel. I'm like, and he was kind of like dog in the navy. I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? Then switch branches. Yeah, Brian, I've, I've, this is gonna <laughs> shot in the dark. Now, were you ever at? Um, did you ever like visit Balboa uh, or anything like that? I mean, I've been down. That's where my uh, wife actually works now. Yeah, did I go ever, down there. Yeah. Did you ever meet a chief Agarilla? No, it doesn't ring a bell, but you, we usually go by first names. So uh, Jojo, <laughs> obviously Jojo Agarilla. No, he's um he uh, Filipino looking, likes Brazilian jujitsu big time. He was a, um, a, a foreman. Filipino chief, huh? Yeah. Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Oh, man. Uh, the... The mafia is real. Okay. Um, no, he was. Anybody says. <laughs> well, he was. Real. Well, you better stop laughing because he's kind of a badass. He was a scout sniper corpsman, well, and this hey, guy man. was. Uh, still this guy, laugh, he ju he just retired last year, but he he picked up chief, and then um, three months later, he retired out. I'll send you a Facebook. Um, I'll send yeah. you his info. Please do. I know a decent amount of HMs too. Being at, uh, over at uh, Millington is where I met all them. But okay, all right. Sorry, I didn't know. I I didn't know Filipino no. thing was a big. Sorry, I didn't. Oh man, but I I don't have an issue with it because once you get in with them, you are taken care of. Like oh, they good. they're everywhere. The mafia is real. Like the mafia is <laughs> real. That's what the Filipino mafia is a thing, and but they're they're good people. Man, they take care of you. Nice. They do. Um, Fleek, is it time for the yes. question? Oh, shit. Are you asking? I got it. Or... I got it. I got okay, it. Okay, good, because I don't have it up. No, I got it. <laughs> what so, is the question? <laughs> Brian, um, I got to ask you. Um, let me pull it up real quick. Uh, but okay. I want what um, I want you to um, – we have our – it's called a saved round. So give me, um, give me a number, one through ten. Uh, that you you know think is you know a good number that you like seven. Jesus Christ! L literally, everybody, everybody picks seven. Everybody picks seven. <laughs> seven. Uh, number seven. Okay, I got a question. I'm going to ask you. Number seven. What advice would you give to someone facing a difficult situation or feeling unsure about their capabilities? Ooh, I like that question. Um, that's that's I'm four gonna... that's four podcasts in a row. Yes, <laughs> as number that's seven. Real. Yeah, for real. But I like the question. No, no, because... it's, a, it's a great question. Yeah, and um, I'm gonna kind of just revert back. Uh, so my son, one of my uh, one son's a baseball player. The other one's a football player. Um, and the football player is incredibly talented. Like the kid is talented. He's super talented and but he doesn't he always questions his ability he always questions himself uh i me and my wife joke he gets that from her um because i'm pretty confident in myself um 
borderline arrogant, but it's yes, okay. you are, Chief. I, <laughs> not arrogant. I was I was agreeing to the thing you said before. Confident. Not arrogant. <laughs> um, but it's you always have to like take a second. I always tell them take a second and look at everything you've accomplished in your life. My the, the one I talk to the most is eight, uh, as far as like telling him, you know, trying to boost his confidence, but everything he's accomplished. So look at yourself, everything you've overcome already, whether it be, you know, childhood adversity, uh, you know, life tends to kick young adults in the butt. Um, so everybody, you know, has troubles. Uh, you were talking about earlier, you know, you being a, a young E4. Uh, we've all been there. We've all done it. Some of us got away with it. Some of us didn't. Uh, <laughs> that's just what it boils down to. I was blessed. I didn't get caught, <laughs> but I did dumb stuff. Um, but you have to look at everything you've overcome and everything that you've achieved to that point and be like, okay, if I just take this a little bit at a time, if I just take, you know, one step every single day, trying to get 1% better, you're going to get past whatever hurdle or obstacles in your way at the time. Uh, you just have to, you have to take a second, look inside and, and believe in yourself and just look at how much you've already accomplished in your life. So, wow. That was, dude, that was extremely stoic. Ryan Holiday would be proud of that answer. Appreciate it. Holy, Thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. That was great, yeah, man. The, those are the type of conversations I have with my my young men I'm raising. Those are, like, you have to have those conversations. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I would, that's what I would tell them. You just look at everything you've already accomplished and now set the goal higher. Move the bar. That's right. That's right. So, like you got anything I'm, else? No, man, I'm good. Now, are we um, are we coming on on Friday? Uh, yeah, at, we're at one third. Both it. of us, both of us, right? If you both want to come, I'll be happy to have both of you. Or you want to so, Can you uh, can you get away? Fridays are tough for me. Okay. If you want to do it separate, we can absolutely do it separate. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I mean, let's I do, yeah. Let's do it separate. Okay. Because okay. Friday. You could send me a different link. Friday, absolutely. Sunday. I can do so, it Friday. So I, I work full time okay. still. I have yeah. a nonprofit and two podcasts. So I have I yeah. I, I keep Friday, and a wife. I and keep, a dog. Yeah. So I keep Fridays and, and Fridays and Saturdays are for my wife. <laughs> okay. No, that's a hundred percent understood. Yeah, we can do it different. Uh, different days. That's fine with me. Um. Right. Yeah. Uh, no problem. I'll. Uh, I'll make myself, I'm available that day. I mean, I, it's on my calendar and everything. So. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I, I can, uh, Fleek, I can send you a different zoom. I can send yeah. you my calendar if you want. You can just pick yeah. a time that per you're available. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm getting into, we business can do it that way too. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, no, I greatly fall, appreciate it. This fall, I have a lot of shit coming up, man. I, I, I was actually, uh, speaking of Boston, I was, uh, invited to Boston for, a. A college out there is going to honor my nonprofit. They did a uh, fundraiser. Their women's volleyball team did a fundraiser, and they want to uh, present me with a check. And that's coming up in like late October, early Have September. Have you got your then, hotel yet? And then it's just all. It's then it's just gangbuster after that. It's just one after a weekend after another. Have you gotten your hotel yet? Um, I do have a hotel. Why? What do you got? Uh, nothing. No, no. I did. I gave you that little, that list of like shit to do in Boston. Yeah. Yeah. I found the hotel. It got, you, you uh, better go on a duck tour. A duck Boston tour. was legit. I got to go to the USS constitution for a week can we, when can I we, picked up chief. Hey, can we yeah. order out like pizza? I 100% want to go to the constitution. It uh, is USA, oh. awesome. Yeah. Didn't awesome. they just have like, a change of command uh, for the USS constitution? I honestly don't know. Maybe um, yeah, I, love I just shit, got lucky yeah. enough when I picked up Chief. They send you there Old for Iron week. Sides. Hell yeah! Yeah, I got the sail on it. Got to take it out. Everything for real? Yeah. See, you're lucky. Awesome. We got to sleep on the top deck. Like oh, yeah. we had a sleeping bag and we slept on the top deck of the Constitution for the first couple nights. The third oh, night damn. it rained. We right, stayed there a week. Damn. I used to drive yeah. like like my parents when we lived in Extra New Hampshire. We used to drive by Old Ironsides every weekend because every weekend we go to Boston. 
And yeah. I just, I'd never been on it. I would always, I would love to. Oh man. It but, is. It is just so cool to be like, you know, how much history what? is there? It was awesome. <clears throat> this guy has. I've not been, I haven't been on it. <laughs> He's getting yelled at. You're getting yelled uh, at I'm live on the show. I'm by my New Hampshire <laughs> wife right now. She's been on old Ironsides. I have not. I've just been passed by it. Sorry. I've just been passed by it. No, you like, got to go. Yeah, on 95. Awesome. Or, and the fact or, that I've gotten to climb the mast, sit in the crow's nest, like take yeah. it out. Yes. It is. That is probably that's, the highlight of my career. Like, that, it's up there for sure. <laughs> that that's on my to-do list when I get there. And I wanted to sit on the uh the green monster too, but the green monster tickets are four hundred dollars a seat. Which, by the way, dude, Let's, I like I got up yeah. like you're going up in September, right? I think it's September. It's either October. I still gotta October. buy those tickets at Fenway. Like from Katie from Katie from my friend. Uh she's getting five that's behind good. home plate for very, very good price. Oh yeah. If you go they're in town. I already looked. They're in town on there too. But I don't know. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have. Okay. Well, let me know because I'll get those. I'm at the mercy of Suffolk University. Yeah, Suffolk <laughs> University. <laughs> Suffolk. Yeah, Suffolk. Suffolk. It's, it's it's Suffolk. Yeah. It's not not Suffolk. Suffolk. Uh, if you were in the Suffolk. Norfolk area, Hampton Roads area, they would let you know it's not Suffolk. Yeah, Suffolk. Suffolk. It's Suffolk. like when you. It's like when you go up. <laughs> <Norfolk. laughs> it's like when you're in New England. Okay. It's not. Hey, listen. Worcester. It's Worcester. It's Worcester. Worcester. I'm a it's, Midwestern kid, man. It's all right? not Gloucester, <laughs> it's Gloucester. I'm a Midwestern yeah. kid living in the South. Yeah, well, yeah. say it right, or you're gonna get your ass kicked up in uh yeah. up in uh, up Boston. in New England in Boston. Boston. Hockey con Harvard Yard. <laughs> the classic. The classic. Hey, yep. have a wicked awesome day. That's it. Wicked. Get some Dunka, some Dunky Donuts, some Dunky. Hell yeah. Yeah. Coffee. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, hey, Fleek, uh, you got anything? Any saved rounds? Brian, do you have any saved rounds? I mean, you gave us one already. Do you have anything else for us to, no, to, uh, I appreciate to talk it, about? Truly. I appreciate good, you man. guys inviting me out. I am, I look forward to talking to you guys, you know, over on our podcast. And Yeah. Man, yeah. I appreciate it. Namaste, Thank you for man. letting me shout out, you know, Seven Eagle. I appreciate that, too. For sure. Let's Seven uh, Eagle. If you're ever in town, too, let, let yeah. us know. Let us we'll, know. Take, oh, yeah. we'll take you to a game. We'll take you to Hooters. Oh, I'll go. Oh, I don't no, no. Hooters. <laughs> Hooters? What the well, hell? Or, or Brian. <laughs> what is we'll wrong with a, you? Who goes to Hooters? Um, I took, I took uh, the owner of our new building. I took him out to Hooters two weeks ago. That place yeah, is so trash, it. man. It's awesome. The wings are amazing. I haven't been to Hooters in years. No, Brian, years. you're coming sucked. to our new speakeasy with a VFW inside. We just had the grand opening on Friday. Fits 80 people. It's very chill, very intimate. Smoking cigars, Heroes Vodka. Yeah, it's great. Oh, I love it. And I, I just talked to my dad. I need to go see him. We haven't, I haven't seen him in a, in a little bit. And he lives right there in Winchester. So Winchester. Winchester. Which there is a Winchester, Massachusetts, by the way, as well. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's a Winchester there here in California, too. Uh, yeah, I bet there is. <laughs> Brian, dude, we love you, man. We love Seven Patriot. And I'd, I'd be sure to like, hey, everyone, be sure to like Seven Patriot on LinkedIn. Are you guys also on Facebook? Uh, yes, yeah, uh, Seven Eagle Group on LinkedIn. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on all of it. Twitter. Okay all of it yes. so yeah please come like it uh and if you need it, any help with anything we will be there to help if you get a second send me the links to all your stuff and i'll put it in the show notes when this thing goes live on sunday absolutely on sunday i can oh perfect yeah it goes the same oh yes, i think because oh. we're all caught up so you are the next episode on this sunday yeah. brother. we got blown off privileged. last night <laughs> we did we got oh, blown okay. off yep we did you prick. Oh, <laughs> we were all, we, You're dude, dead to us. <laughs> we were just talking. Like, we were just shooting the shit for, like, 13 minutes. Like, we did the whole, like, yeah. if the teacher's not here in 10 minutes, we're going to bail. Yeah. And we did. Yeah. 
I do too. Like you know, I've, I've had people dip out on my interviews, and it, it's it happens. But it's yeah. so rude, so yeah. rude. Yeah. Fucking rude. It is a little. It is a little rude. I'm like, like at least yeah. give me a heads up. But it's yeah, like, for real, shoot me an yeah. email or send, shoot me a text yeah, or something. Like, hey, I can't I'll make say. it. I'm like, it's hey, no big deal. Don't make me sit here. Exactly. I think yeah, Andrew and I, like, Andrew and I, just bullshitted for like 45 minutes. We're like, yeah, we're. Yeah, I'm like, because yeah. I, I hadn't talked to Fleek in like two weeks because he went on vacation. Yeah. I was like, where the fuck is Fleek? I haven't talked <laughs> to him ever. <laughs> and we just, we started Isn't like, man. you know, talking about, oh, well, this guy did this again and this guy did this again. And like, how are you doing? I mean, how's your family? How's this? I mean, it's better than a phone call. Like, I actually get to see his, his yeah. amazing face. Yeah. My hairy face. And his Stop. awesome fucking beard, which I, I was trying to get. I just had to trim mine because it was like I haven't gotten used to being able to grow it, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, uh, it just, I just trimmed it down. So, dude, I the just saw a picture of me grow, three like... years ago and my beard looked like fleeks. Like we were like, we were twinsies three years ago. Like it, it came down to like here. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was See, That's horrid. what I'm trying to do. He he looks good. I did not look good with a beard. Mm. I think it. Dude. I don't know if I look. I don't know if I like it or not. You look debonair, sir. Debonair. I, I like it because it's all. It's uh the silver like shows yeah. my. Yeah. Hey, hon. Yeah. Shows you okay? Wisdom. Yeah. I don't know about wisdom, you but okay? yeah, it makes it look like I'm with. I have some wisdom, you know. Yeah, you got a lot of uh, a life experience. Yes. Hey, um, guys, my girl has to study uh, for her oh, okay. MBA stuff. Uh, so I'm not. I'm, yep. I'm, I'm a little bit too. I'm too loud. All right. I'll configure, right? Well, I'm gonna hit and record anyway, because we're yapping and about the All show right. actually yeah. ended a while ago. So All hold right. on a second. I want to make sure it uploads. Yeah. Peace out. Thanks yep. everyone. See you guys. Love you guys.